If you like shopping at Trader Joe's, be sure to tap that subscribe button. I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List, and I just spent close to $400 at Trader Joe's. Let's jump into this three bag, massive Trader Joe's haul. We're gonna sample and review items, check out new items, just have fun and I need to eat, so let's jump on in. First, I need some caffeine and I can't remember which bag I put it in. I took an item back to Trader Joe's today and I never do this. First of all, I'm gonna just set this out because I don't want it to get more damaged than it's in the car. But look how cute this is. This is like this little happy plant. Again, how many items can I have with a smiley face on them? The answer is N plus one. Okay, this is what I am starting with a La, La Colombe coffee double what is it? Oat milk double latte creamium balance. I literally bought um, a new item from Trader Joe's and I took a drink of it in the car and I almost spit it out and I had to take them all back into Trader Joe's and I've never done that, but I will tell you all about the item um, while we're in this haul. But I'm gonna not shake this. I just need like a good flavor in my mouth after what I just experienced in the car, which I will make a reel out of. Mm. Like this is delicious. Why can't everything taste as good as this? These are really good. Me and the girl at the checkout were talking about them because they have oat milk instead of regular milk and they just introduced these, I think, last year. But they're just really, really nice, simple, four and a half grams of fat, um, 11 grams sugar, 110 calories per, per oat milk double latte. It's like a latte in a can and it's good. Mm. And I need to eat some food too. So I'm gonna go through this kind of fast because I did get $400 worth of stuff. Um, I am in an Airbnb in Arizona, in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I had to get stuff because there's literally nothing in here. We're going to be here for two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. Um, so imagine going from scratch. So that's why there's so much stuff. But I got kettle cooked potato chips. These things are so good. I'm going to eat one right now. I like them because they are simple. Potatoes, olive oil, and sea salt. Mmm. Mmm. They're salty. They're crunchy. They go well with everything. Um, Pacific Cod, I'm, we're gonna, either gonna grill this, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Grill it something. Because when you're at an Airbnb, I'm just putting this right in the fridge because I don't want it to smell any more than it is. Um, you literally have nothing. You have no parchment paper, no Ziploc bags. Like this is a brand new, brand new Airbnb. So there's literally nothing that even like past people have left, like condiments, which sometimes that kind of grosses me out, but not this time. Um, for lunch, I'm gonna have some Sockeye salmon, I'm gonna put it on my um, avocado smash toast. So I'm gonna leave that out. Speaking of that, avocado mash, I really like this stuff. You do have to eat it relatively quickly or it'll brown, but it still's fine. If that's a little bit of brown, just mix it in. No one's gonna worry about it. Um, I picked up a bunch of the Aricho parts as snacks. I love these things, they're so good. I need to move some of this stuff around. We've got so many bags going on. I'm just gonna scoot this one over here. This countertop's a little smaller than the one at home, so look at this receipt. It's like a CBS receipt. And we went, went to Trader Joe's yesterday too just to grab a couple items for Simon because he's training for um, his job at True, True Spec Golf, um, which is why we're here. So um, I also picked up the vegan buffalo dip. I haven't had this in forever and I was hooked on it for so long. So I picked up the vegan buffalo dip and then I also picked up, which we'll get to, um, in here are some things that I like to pair it with and I'll call them out when I find them. The just a handful of olives, another really yummy snack, super healthy for you. Olives are good, 55 calories per bag, 420 milligrams of sodium. Oh my goodness, I really need to eat something. Oh, these are back, I love this. This is the peony blossom scented candle. Mmm, smell, smells so good. Like one of my favorite scents Trader Joe's makes. And it's seasonal, so get it while you can. Um, let's just check out these mangoes that I love and I'm obsessed with. Um, I'll be posting a little video on these just because I love them so much. And apparently they're trending on TikTok. People are doing, like, they're cutting them. They're cutting them around the middle and then just like pulling the top off. Um, I don't really like that method because you do waste a lot of mango doing it that way. But whatever happens on TikTok should probably stay on TikTok. Um, okay, I picked up a bottle of this champagne by Tattinger, which is a, one of my favorite champagne brands, and it was $27. Um, they have, Tattinger makes champagnes that are quite expensive, so a $27 bottle of champagne 
is pricey, but relative to some of their other bottles, it's a good deal. Um, a big thank you to Volvo Palm Springs. They actually lent Simon and I this awesome, um, <clears throat> what's the vehicle name? It's a Volvo SCV. I'm spacing on the name in my head. It's a cute, oh, it's an X90. It's massive. And like my Trader Joe's cart was full. And when I put all the groceries in the back of the Volvo, it looks like I didn't really buy much. So it helped with my uh, guilt over how much I just bought. Um, I picked up some chocolate chip cookies. I love these things. They're like great for a sweet tooth. Some butter. Why not get some butter? Um, I picked up some vegan mayo spread. I love this. And this is such, I feel like it just keeps getting better. They use avocado oil, chickpea broth, um, also known as aquafaba, white vinegar, um, sea salt, just mustard powder, lemon. It's just so good. It's almost as good as if you're going to make it at home. Less messy. Um, sardines. Yummy. I like sardines. High in protein, high in omega, three fatty acids. 1,740 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids. I might do this instead of the salmon, but maybe I'll do the salmon. I picked up some garbanzo beans. I'm gonna be making a kale salad this week. That will go really yummy in it. Someone just messaged me about my recipe, not my recipe, yeah, I guess it's a recipe, my dressing recipe. So I use yuzu. I feel like there's so many bags and things around me. Um, I use the yuzu hot sauce to make the best salad dressing. Just olive oil, add some yuzu dressing to it, just a couple like, just some of that. Um, lemon juice, some salt, and a little bit of honey. The best dressing. Give it a go, your friends will be like, where'd you get this dressing from? You can say you made it. For cooking here, I picked up some avocado oil spray. I picked up some taco seasoning mix. Cause I know at some point I'm gonna have tacos. I don't know when, I just see it in my forecast. Um, organic ketchup for Simon, so he feels at home. And then I picked up a couple more of these. Also, because Simon, um, I have to drop him off at work, or training, and so he just needs something on the go. So like this morning he didn't have coffee, so I picked him up some more of these, which I know he appreciated. Um, some Parmesan Asiago cheeses. This is some of my favorite cheese for a lot of reasons but it is like the best snackable cheese. It looks like the shaved Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheeses. I used to buy it all the time. You just kind of break through the plastic barrier, but it's, it's perfect snacking size. Um, if you assume that this wonderful Airbnb had a cheese grater, you'd be wrong, because they do not. I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods tomorrow and just buy like some cups and some flatware because all the stuff in here is like the cheapest quality and it makes like the cups are bad, they're too small, like you're not gonna put any coffee in it, it's not big enough for water. I'm trying to be positive, the kitchen's nice and bright, but it's great. It was one of those Airbnbs that looks really good online and then you get into it and you're like, what, what am I in for two weeks? But we're gonna make the best of it, it's gonna be fun. I picked up daily facial sunscreen because we're in Arizona. I checked the UV index today, but around 12.30 it was nine, which is very high. The highest I've ever seen it was when I was in Brazil, it was like 12, but nine is high, so I picked up some SPF 40, which Simon needs to put it on the back of his neck, because I saw the back of his neck the other day and it looks sunburned. So that's probably gonna be my job, make sure his neck is covered in sunblock. Crunchy almond butter, I picked up some apples, which we'll get into. Um, some more garbanzo beans and some salt because they have no salt here. Or they do have salt, but it's like, I don't trust the salt. So I picked up some of the pink Himalayan salt. Are people still eating Himalayan salt? Veggies, we've got kale. Um, organic baby spinach spring mix blend. A just mango. I'm going to have a bite of the just mango right now because I am starving. I'm going to Orange Theory while I'm here, and also a Pilates. Mmm. Okay, wait. If you guys buy this, you'll know what I mean. Some pieces are better than others. So, I'm just going to take that out. Just, there are years in my life where I didn't eat mango, and I'm like, those years are behind me, because I feel like I eat so much mango now. Mmm. Mmm. This bag is the six. They're a bit too dry. Bummer. Okay, pick them wraps. 
That is what I'm going to use the butt fillet vegan dip with. You can do a little jicama wrap, put a little piece of string cheese in it or turkey, dip it in the vegan buffalo dip, yummy as snack. Turkey breast for sandwiches. For the tacos I mentioned, I picked up some shredded green cabbage. This makes life so much easier, especially when you're in Airbnb. I'm not even gonna try the knives they have here because we know they're not gonna cut through anything. So pre-shredded stuff is really helpful for me. I bet the knives would cut through the mushrooms though. Maybe, that might be a stretch. <laughs> that should be something you should be able to rate on Airbnb. Like, yeah, your stay's nice, nothing happened. Okay, good. But like, how are the utensils? How are the dishware? Like all of the cups are plastic and they say do not put in the dishwasher and they've all been put in the dishwasher. So they're all like warped and like foggy. Okay, reduced fat squish. <laughs> Your old food cheese really yummy. We did bring stuff from home, which is in the fridge, but like not nearly enough. Oh, I need to put this in the freezer right away. Non-dairy oat beverage, that's for Simon. Now the freezer has water and an ice maker, but do they work? They do not. Um, okay, <laughs> but the fridge works, that's good. Uh, Calls on many colors, we'll be cooking these up, probably microwave them. That's why, that's honestly why I bought these because they're super simple to make and we want like an easy treat, which this would be a good treat. Hear me out on this. Microwave this in the bag. You can do that. Um, make sure you cut the corner. Take them out, toss them a little olive oil, salt, and then just dip them in the vegan buffalo dip. That is a yummy, yummy snack. Apples for the almond butter. Honey for anything you may need. What did I talk about earlier? The dressing. Use it in this. I also brought some tea from home. So I picked up some honey. Uh, I picked up an onion that I'll use in salads and whatnot, but also I do wanna make some sort of pickled onions while I'm here because I am hooked. I just need to buy a jar, <laughs> white wine vinegar, um, apple cider vinegar, or you could just do, you could just do all apple cider vinegar or all white wine vinegar. So whatever I can find, I'll get some of that. Which I should just got the apple cider vinegar from Trader Joe's. What was I thinking? Brains all over the place. Um, but yeah, salt and then some like, chili flakes, whatever seasonings you want in it, yummy. Rice hearts of palm, I picked up three boxes of that. I'm trying to eat lower carb, guys, lower carb. And then when I get my carbs, it's like whole mangoes <laughs> and ice cream. Get the carbs where they matter, right? Like you want, you want the carbs that matter, like a mango, good carb. A piece of bread that's like kind of like stale, not a good carb. Um, organic kosher sandwich pickles. I love salty things. Pickles sounded good to me. And I like them when they're savory, not so much like bread and butter, but like sweet. Mmm. This is a good pickle. Mmm. And everyone knows a pickle is a fruit, right? A pickle is a cucumber. And a cucumber is a fruit because it has seeds. The definition of a fruit is it must have seeds. Therefore, a pickle is a fruit. That is your fun fact for today. I picked up sheep's, the authentic Greek feta in brine for my avocado mashed toast. What else is in this bag? Oh, and I got a lemon. There's another lemon somewhere. We did squeeze this all in three bags. Simon so today made me die laughing because when we stopped in a Trader Joe's yesterday, I was like, get something so you have a snack while you're in my, this training. Like I've been to trainings where they don't feed you or like, it's or like the timing's off and he's like no, no no I'm fine and I'm like you're being a guy right now get something for snacks he didn't get snacks I, I forced him to get muffins for breakfast so then this morning he was leaving and I saw him put the entire case of muffins in his bag and where he had eaten one muffin he put a bag of these these are the organic berry tiny gummy bears which he's obsessed with so he took three muffins and gummy bears in his like little man bag with him to training. And I'm like, you need to pack something that's gonna like make you feel good. That's gonna sugar high, he's gonna fall asleep. But hopefully you can take an apple with him. And so I got him these almonds, cranberries, and cashews tech mix. They're like, this is like, I feel like a mom thing, but I've also talked to other women and like sometimes you just have to help the men in your life out or else they're helpless. So I got him 
some almonds, cashews, and um, cranberry snack mix. So you can take that with him as a snack instead of an entire container of muffins to his training. Um, and then uncured pepperoni pizza. I feel like there's gonna be a night where either he goes to dinner with his folks that are training or something happens where I'm gonna just want this. Like, this isn't, back to my carb thing, this is a good carb, it's tasty, but the trade-off is would I rather go get like freshly made pizza. So this will be one of those nights, or it could be a snack. Sometimes Simon gets home because he doesn't take food with him and he's like really hungry and I can just make him a pizza. For the pups, I got him organic chicken and brown rice recipe sticks. Pop Pie loves the Airbnb because there's like a grass and then the, the rocks outside get warm and she lays her old lady body on it and it feels so good. Um, so Pop Pie loves it here. Boo's still on the fence. More gummy bears for Simon. More apples for Simon and his lunch. Um, I picked up the bread. This is the gluten-free bread I'm going to be using for my avocado mashed toast. It's actually really quite good. Uh, I picked up some shredded Parmesan cheese. There's another cheese in here that I want to try. I'm just disappointed in this mango. Could be better. Pasta. That's pasta is such a good Airbnb thing to bring because it really takes two items. And if you're going to be fancy like me, three items because you need Parmesan sauce. So I picked that up too. I love the organic vodka sauce. My sister turned me onto that, my favorite. I use it all the time. I picked up one shallot and one head of garlic. I'll be using these for something, I'm sure. Okay, this is the new cheese. It was the Spotlight cheese at Trader Joe's. It's French Heritage, orange rind, St. Paulin cheese, soft spreadable cow's milk cheese made in France. And it expires just four days before my birthday, August 22nd. Uh, okay, let's let's do this together, guys. Let's find a knife. We would assume this knife will be sharp because it comes with a cover. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we're in. We're in. This one may be sharper than the rest. This one might be sharper than the rest. Okay. I'm gonna put the semi dull knife down. Um, maybe <laughs> put this on a plate. Let's see if I can find a plate. Okay. The plates are okay. They're Ikea. I just need to try the cheese. Okay, we're gonna just cut it from the back just to save your guys this time. Um, how do I get into this? Do we eat the rind? We're gonna eat the rind. So here it is. Doesn't really have a strong smell. Mmm. Ooh, that's nice. It's a very mild, not a strong cheese, a nice texture. Um, I would say it's like, it's not a soft spreadable, it's like a medium cheese, but, mmm. A good bite of cheese makes me want a glass of red wine. I do need to find like a wine shop here. This Trader Joe's had wine, but, um, and I got some rosé yesterday, which I still need to try, but I want to get some like natural wines because I'm just sitting here eating this cheese because it's good. Um, natural wines, they're typically, um, they have organic grapes or they're cropped or they're not sprayed with anything and then they have lower alcohol. So you don't get like headaches or anything, you don't feel like crap the next day. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna set the cheese over here. Okay, look what's back, look what's back. Um, the dill pickle mustard is back. I am obsessed with this stuff and it's so cute. Someone shipped me, gross, there's a hair that's not my color. <laughs> Got into the, the bag, which happens. Um, dill pickle mustard, someone sent me like six of these and then they're just now finally coming back. So I'm gonna be dill pickle mustard rich. This is so good to use on sandwiches. It's delicious to use on, um, what else? sandwiches, oh, tuna salad, things like that. And I'm laughing because New York Times posted an Instagram post yesterday that said like, did you know you can put chips in a sandwich? <laughs> Everyone literally knows you can put chips in a sandwich. Um, but when I was talking about putting the dill pickle mustard in a sandwich, not everyone knows that. So take that New York Times Instagram post. This is for Simon, not for me. This is how much I love him. I bought him bananas. 
Because this makes sense. Throw this in your bag. Throw a whole carton of um, muffins in your bag. That's, a, that's not quite right, but maybe he's going to share the muffins. Which I would need to know because then I should have got more muffins. So he'll have breakfast for the next couple of days. Uh, goat milk cell gouda cheese. What was I thinking? I don't even have a grater. I'm not sure why I bought that. That was like right when I started um, my haul at Trader Joe's this week. I picked up an extra olive, um, ver extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed. There's no way I'm gonna use all this while I'm here and this will be my donation to the Airbnb. I might leave something else too. I might leave salt and pepper. I might leave them a bunch of stuff. Hearts of Palm, this is delicious. You cannot beat the price of hearts of this Hearts of Palm um, at Trader Joe's. I think it's like a couple bucks. Slice it into your um, salad, like I like to cut the, they look like long tubes and you just cut them into like little slices and you just throw them in your salads. They're super delicious, great flavor. I should have bought pine nuts. That would have gone really well in my sandwich, uh, in my salad. There's a place I go to in LA called Earth, U-R-T-H Cafe, and it's just their like Earth salad, which is all about the hearts of palm. They have pine nuts and I'm like, shoot, I should have gotten pine nuts. Anyways, I did get the every, everyday seasoning. I figured this would be a good one to have here because it's sea salt, mustard seeds, black peppercorns, coriander seed, dried onion, dried garlic, paprika, red chili, pepper flakes. Fun fact, coriander seeds are what cilantro grows from. Mm. I got Simon his favorite chocolate. Oh, oh chocolate bars. Two avocados. Because we're, we're doing it. Oh. I picked up a toothbrush, not for my teeth, um, to scrub my nails. I have a nail scrubber at home and I didn't bring it. So toothbrush is a great way to clean underneath your nails. Typically when you wash your hair with your hands, um, that'll clean your nails. But if you're like me and you wash your hair like once a week, a lot of dry shampoo for this girl. Once a week, then you need to clean your nails with a nail scrubber. So that's what I got. $400. Well, I got a couple of things yesterday, which include dishwashing detergent and the bottle of wine and a couple other things, but all in all, it's about 400 bucks. I'm super excited to make lunch right now. So I will see you guys next week. We will still be in this Airbnb and hopefully some new items are coming out, which I meant to tell you. The item that was gross that I spit out in the car basically was this new collagen drink. And it reminds me of like, I don't know why I'm still driving afterwards but it, it has this smell to it, which is a blue, cause it's a blueberry ginger and it's supposed to be no flavor, like smells were added, but I will argue with that. Cause it was a very uh, natural flavored blueberry smell, um, but it has a wreathrodol in it. And I do not do well with a wreathrodol at all. It's a sugar alcohol that disrupts my stomach. And like, I just, I, I can't get my stomach settled when I drink it. So I had to take them back, but that was it. And there are some new items coming out. Um, there's a new type of jangle coming out, like jingle jangle, but it's not jingle jangle. And then there is a gluten-free strawberry muffin. These are the things I learned today. So anyways, I'll see you guys next week and take a look at my Instagram stories. I will have some uh, photos of those new items that will be coming out posted because I'm a detective and I got them today from the inside people. So see you guys later.